Hey, what's up? It's Matt, and recently I was reading this great article by Tim Urban from Wait But Why. It was all about energy and cars and Tesla, and specifically if electric vehicles are actually better for the environment. This was a great article, and it addressed this question, but I wanted to check it out for myself, because there's just so much different information out there on this topic. Seriously, if you Google, are electric cars better for the environment, you get actual different top results than if you Google, are electric cars worse for the environment. So first off, let's define what we mean when we say better for the environment, because that's a little vague. There there are a lot of claims as to why electric cars could be worse for the environment than gasoline-powered ones, but the most potentially harmful and legitimate of these claims is simply that because we need to burn coal to produce the electricity to power electric vehicles, they aren't any better or cleaner than normal gasoline cars. Pollutants still go up in the air to power them, just like they do when we burn oil in a gasoline car. The EPA calls this air pollution particulate matter. Essentially, it's pollution that's so small it can get into our lungs and cause severe damage. So if we define being better for the environment as releasing less particulate matter into the air, then we can finally create the question we've been after this whole time. Does powering the electricity for electric vehicles produce more particulate matter than driving a normal gasoline vehicle? Okay. Now let's check this out. There's a really good report on all of this by professors from the University of Minnesota. Also, this is the only academic paper I've ever seen that has a video abstract, which is one, super cool, and two, kind of like a primitive ASAP science. But I digress. This report finds that if there were an equal number of electric vehicles and gasoline vehicles, the average electric vehicle produces more air pollution. And accordingly, when you calculate the cost of these damages, the average electric vehicle is more costly than the average gasoline vehicle. And another report from the National Bureau of Economic Research comes to the same conclusions as this study, finding that Electric vehicles, on average, generate a negative environmental effect of about 0.5 cents compared to gasoline vehicles. But something each report finds is that while electric vehicles are worse on average, they are better in some places. Check out this chart from the National Bureau's report. The green regions are where generating electricity produces less environmental damage than driving a gasoline vehicle. This variation exists simply because different places use different resources to generate their electricity. Though coal tends to be the biggest national producer of electricity, you can see the other resources certain regions use, like natural gas and renewables, which produce fewer to zero air pollutants. If you want to see your region's specific electricity mix, you can use the EPA's power profiler to find out. Now, the data here is from 2010, so this will be dated, but national trends and future predictions both illustrate that as time goes on, our electricity mix tends to get cleaner, bringing in more renewables and natural gas. So you can assume your region is even a little cleaner than what this power profiler shows you now. One of the things I was interested in creating when I started doing all this research was a model or formula where you could enter what percentage of your electricity generation was from which resource, and then seeing if an electric vehicle in your area would be cleaner than a gasoline-powered one. But as I learned from contacting one of the authors of the University of Minnesota study, it's impossible to do this with a simple model, because pollutant concentrations and health impacts vary from region to region. For instance, emitting a ton of pollution in Wyoming will cause fewer impacts than emitting a ton of pollution in Manhattan. And then he goes on to say, this is the reason we did the complex modeling in the first place. But again, we can still use the chart from the economic study to show us generally where in the US electric vehicles will be better than gasoline-powered ones. Okay. So far, we have based every conclusion we've made about the environmental impacts of electric cars off our previous definition of better for the environment, which was releasing less particulate matter into the air. But there's another way we could define better for the environment. We could instead define it as releasing fewer greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, because greenhouse gases and particulate matter are not the same thing and have profoundly different effects on our environment. So what do electric cars look like when we compare their environmental impacts based off of greenhouse gas emissions? In literally everything I've seen, from the two academic papers to countless government and independent Independent models, electric vehicles are almost universally better than gasoline-powered vehicles when it comes to producing greenhouse gases. Even in cases where a very large percentage of an area's electricity is generated by burning coal, electric vehicles are still better. And this is another tool you can use, put in your zip code and find out what your region's like. Also, a group called the Union of Concerned Scientists created a model showing how many miles per gallon a gasoline car would have to get in order to reduce its carbon emission rates to those of electric cars. And as you can see, electric vehicles just totally outperform them. So after hearing all of this, Logically, the thing we need to now ask is, should we be more concerned about air pollution, which makes it more difficult to breathe, or greenhouse gases, which contribute to global warming? It's very difficult to come to a factual answer on that, because there is just so much variance in the projections on global warming and their effects. My gut leads me to believe that global warming is probably worse in the long run, but I don't know. So to summarize everything we've talked about here, because it got a little confusing, I made a flowchart that breaks it down very simply. Are electric vehicles better for the environment? Well, do you care about global warming or air pollution more? Global warming? Great, electric vehicles are better. If it's air pollution, do you live in one of these green regions? If so, then yes, it's better. If no, it's not.
A lot of research went into that, so if you want to share that and say, oh, hey, look, a way to actually end this debate in terms of emissions, then, uh, go ahead. That's all I got. Thanks so much, brother. I'll see you on weekday. Wow. Oh my gosh. Hi, everyone. Wow, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while. Sorry about that. It's just, I don't know, it was a combination of having just dumb work I really didn't want to have to do, but had to do, and also losing my voice. Uh, like, I can normally go like, what? But I can't now. So thanks for sticking it out, and I will see you later.